Hey Gearheads, Jen here. Welcome back. Get excited. Because we have the future of affordable driving. This is the Tesla Model 3. Coming close because I want you to see everything that's inside. But first things first, check out these spiffy door handles. The Model 3 and the Model Y, they have a little curl up. That's how you can tell the distinguishing factor from, say, the Model S and the Model X. They're just straight across and they have an electronic push out. But on these, you just push in and pull out. So I'll let you get in here and I'll go around to show you more. When you look around, I mean, there's nothing going on. Everything is clean, minimalistic, except for this showstopper, this infotainment system, 15 inches, and it looks like a cool, ginormous, super-sized iPad, but this thing controls everything in your Model 3. This is where you live when you're driving this car. You can charge your phone, just place it down. It's simple, easy to charge. There's cup holders, of course, the center console. Everything on here is built for a purpose because you got a horn. Yeah. You need that for any vehicle, but you have these little toggle switches, which basically are gonna help you control the different features in the infotainment center. If you don't wanna do touch display, you can even move your steering wheel up and down with this. There are so many cool little surprises that await you, and uh, I think we should jump right into it. Everything involved in this vehicle is right here at your fingertips. You've got quick controls, lights, locks, driving, your autopilot, navigation. You can control and adjust your mirrors here. You can adjust your steering wheel. So you go over from your quick controls to your music note here. You're going to see any connected devices pop up here, but you can control your music, your volume, skip forward on your favorite CDs. But this is also home base. You can see a very large navigation system tells you what part of town you're in, if you need to go to a nearby hotel or restaurant. And moving on to this little icon here, that's your camera button and bam, check out everything behind you, this beautiful scenery. If you had cars behind you, it would let you know what's happening in your rear right here. Also, you have your left and your right cameras. You can check out what's happening on the side. If somebody is coming towards your vehicle or messing with it, Tesla offers the sentry mode. What is that, you may ask? Well, that's a little friendly feature that has your back. If you leave, if you park somewhere, lock your car, and then somebody creepily comes up and is trying to mess with your car or break in, you can set a feature where it will automatically start recording video footage and also tell them, hey, guess what, buddy? You're being recorded. Don't do any creepy stuff. Creep it real somewhere else. They will do that right here. Easy to connect, the sentry mode, and it's a really, really good security feature. You have your charging super interesting you know what your range is your current charge if you want to schedule a departure and know how long you have to charge for or if you want to check out your local supercharging station and what that may cost you still cheaper than a tank of gas obviously very cheap that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna pay per gallon in some states and that's what it is to charge it you have all these game options you have solitaire you have cat quest as the token crazy cat lady love that you have asteroids what also what's fun about this the way you actually play the game is with your steering wheel so very fun you just push to start player one check it out i'm controlling this with my actual steering wheel also you have theater mode check this out you can netflix and chill with yourself while you're waiting for somebody that's pretty awesome hulu you have twitch youtube my fave yes go ahead and watch my future videos while you're waiting you have a boom box this is so fun so fun okay normal people they have that obnoxious horn sound when you honk the horn you're like Mer. okay not this tesla model 3 you can literally mess with the horn sound and do applause. You can do La Cucaracha. You can preview it here. You can do whatever you want, super fun to hear. If you're going under 25 miles per hour, 
you don't make a lot of noise naturally as an electric vehicle. So you can add some fun driving sounds to let people know you're coming up on them, you're ready to have a party. Um, and so this is a really fun and inviting feature, the driving sound, I love that. We got the emissions testing. No, I don't mean what it sounds like. I'm talking about fart on demand, people. Yes, you can whoopee cushion your friends. Whoever's in the back, play a little gassy prank on them or anybody, you can just move this around. If like somebody you don't like's in the back seat and you're trying to embarrass them. Also, we talk about Netflix and chill. Hey, how about a little romance in your life? You can put it on romance mode, get cozy. Oh yeah, baby. Heat things up and quite literally heat things up. This looks cool, but it actually turns on the heater as well. So when you're trying to get a little cozy and heat things up with your special someone, this will definitely do the trick. Sorry, marshmallows are not included. You can actually change your navigation to look like you're on Mars, but you can also make it look like you're on the rainbow road. Yes, baby. I think that this is a throwback to Mario Kart actually, but super fun. You can always be somewhere over the rainbow if you want. I have to show you this though. This is the climate control. There are no vents to speak of in the Model 3. You're like, where are the vents? Actually, there's a nice sleek slit or cutout where all the air is coming from. Right here, you can actually adjust the positioning just by your fingertip. If this person, your passenger doesn't really like air, drag it away from them and it all comes out streamlined in this really sleek configuration. Also a feature that may actually make me get a dog one day, you have dog mode. No, that's not when somebody's in the dog house. Say you're running an errand and you have to go in for like a quick carton of eggs or something. Go back here to your climate control, hit the dog mode and then your little furry friend will sit in the AC, you can set it to whatever you want, like 68 degrees, and it also alerts people and lets them know, hey, Fido is not going crazy in the heat, you do not have to break in the window, we got dog mode happening, they are in a cooler temperature than you are outside. So that's a really cool feature as well. I mean, there's just so many things that this has available. Now that you've seen the badass upgrades and cool features of the infotainment system, let's head outside, hit your door button, pop it open, and follow me to the front. You may think, what's under the hood? Well, let me show you. It's actually a frunk, a front trunk. So obviously it's an electric vehicle. There's no motor to speak of like in a traditional gas powered car. You got all this extra space to, you know, Bring whatever you want along with you. You do have a little place though for your windshield wiper fluid, just in case you need that. All right, so you checked out the front, but come along with me. Speaking of storage, 15 cubic feet of storage. As you can see, even more storage, plenty of space to take your golf clubs or whatever you want along with you. Oh, and an upgrade for 2021. It didn't used to have this little electronic button. Just push it, step out of the way, and you can just drive off, no problem. That button is so easy breezy. Another thing that's super easy, charging, of course. Come to this side, come around, Obviously, this is an electric vehicle. It needs a battery that's going to be charged. This is where you do that. You just flip it up, a little incognito, pop it up, and that's where you would plug in. Super easy. There's tons of superchargers around. If you don't want to charge at home and waste your, you know, eight to 10 hours of charging time, just go to your local supercharger. They're everywhere. And you even have your infotainment, which you saw. I showed you everyone in our area, but this is where you would just plug in, juice up, and get on the road again. This car is safe. Everywhere, five-star ratings, front side, passenger, super safe. This whole body is made out of steel and aluminum. But here's the thing. When you think about the roof, you're like, oh, it's a glass roof. How safe can that be? Well. The rating, the crush rating for this is four times the weight of the car. Tesla even said on their website that it would withstand two elephants. I don't know how they got that number, but I like it. It's pretty cool and a really good safety feature in case you know you're around some wild elephants. I don't know. 
Cameras, cameras, cameras. Everywhere you look, there are eight cameras. Let me show you, there's one right here. Also, there's one right here. Basically, there's a rear camera, there's front cameras. Anywhere you drive, you know what's happening around you because of the camera capabilities, the sonar, the radar, everything is watching out for you on the road. All right, we are driving the new Tesla Model 3. The Type 3 does not disappoint when it comes to acceleration. The zero to 60 time is like 5.3 seconds. As soon as you step on the accelerator, you are launched forward. The acceleration is so fast, I hope they don't accelerate right off the road. It's that fast, it's that impressive. And if you're not used to it, if you're used to a normal gas powered vehicle that doesn't have that instantaneous torque, you are going to shock yourself at how fast this is. I want to test out this acceleration. Let's go zero to 60. Let's see. Houston, prepare yourself. Incredible. It's fast. The acceleration is incredible, but the price point, the entry level is so accommodating to people's budgets in comparison to the Model S, for instance. I mean, you can get in one of these vehicles for 37 to 45,000 in that range. And to get all this state-of-the-art technology at that affordable of a price point is pretty incredible. All right, let's try the autopilot feature. Every Tesla, as you know, comes with the autopilot program. You can also get some of your Tesla models with full driving capabilities. This is not exactly that program. You're not gonna just put in your final destination and say, okay, Tesla, take me there. I'm gonna take a nap in the back. No, 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 no. It's not quite like that, but it is very, very sophisticated. There are so many sensors around this. There's eight cameras, 12 ultrasonic, sensors, there's radar. So everything you see in the infotainment center, even before we put the autopilot program on, you can see where your car is at in real time within the lanes. I see that there's a truck up ahead to the left of me. I know about how far the distance is from me to that truck. I can see my speed. I can see the actual speed limit on the street. It's way more sophisticated than basically any lane assist program out there. But let's try putting it into autopilot. I'm gonna hit down twice on that. It's initiated. It's happening, it's driving for me, people. I don't even have my hands on the steering wheel, which is a little bit weird. I'm gonna keep them close by just in case. The thing with the autopilot program, on the Model 3, it does not brake for you typically. So if you're coming up to a stoplight, you still have to brake but right now it's steering for me. It's hitting the accelerator for me. I can see how much room I have ahead of me, where that car is, and it also gives you instant feedback. It's telling me by making beeping noises and giving me signals on the infotainment what I should be doing, where I'm at, where the cars are at. It's such an interesting program and not like adaptive cruise control in other cars. It is definitely an autopilot program. However, uh, if you're expecting to go out to bars and have your car drive you home, no problem. This is not that technology. This autopilot program is great for going on the freeway, but not necessarily zipping around town. It's amazing technology, but it's just not quite there yet. So don't expect it to drive you home from the bar. That's not happening. This Model 3 is constantly updating itself. It's got software upgrades that come in. You don't have to turn in your car every year to get the latest technology. Elon and his team at Tesla have really thought of everything. And so as new technology becomes available, they just send you a little software update. So the resale value on the Model 3 is fantastic. And out of the gate, it might be a little bit pricier than its competitors but you're getting a lot more for your money. And it's like driving a spaceship. It's pretty fun and it's really cool. I mean, the zero to 60 time, let's go.
Okay, you guys, that was your up close look and review of the Model 3. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I wanna hear from you if you love Tesla. Tell me all about it below and of course subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you on the next car review.